the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. And uh, what do you guys do in your live show, by the way? It's uh, comedy music. So oh, okay. Two stools, a guitar, lots of songs. I mean, that's the first thing we did on YouTube where we put the funny songs that we had written over the previous years. But, but we, you're doing this? We like, started putting those on YouTube. You're doing YouTube that? YouTube existed. Uh, but you're, engin- like you're working as engineers during the day? Yeah. We, we, just- we would get together like once a week, um, one night a week, and like write together. And then we were... Because we were- in college, we would, you know... Yeah, we did the video thing, but then we also did the, hey, we wrote a funny song, guys. Let, sit on the couch. We're going to play it for you kind of thing. So but we, it's like, it's a hobby. It's yeah. like, oh, this is fun, right? Like, yeah, and, then yeah. We, and so we started doing some like uh, small college stuff. and Like performing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And th- but so then we created our website. Mm-hmm. This is like 03. So we were like, oh, we need to create, create a website so that we, we and made YouTube's these. like 05, right? Am I wrong? Or? Yeah, and we got in 06. Damn. Okay. Like very few people got in 05. That's when it like started like in the summer yeah. of 05. Uh, but we were, so we like, we're putting these music videos on our website so people who saw us live could see the videos. But then people started taking like, so we did that for a couple of years, not really going anywhere. And then people started taking those videos and downloading them from the website because it was back in the day you had to like host your own video, like using a, oh. your own server. Oh, really? And if people had QuickTime Pro, they could just I remember right click on the yeah. video and yeah. download it to yeah. their own. And they were taking it, downloading it, and then uploading it to YouTube. And we were but like, is that helping in a way? Like well, because it's it sharing did. it, right? Yeah, yeah oh, because yeah. We, hundreds of people had seen our videos on our website. Right. And then somebody uploaded, uh, we, we did this, our, our kids were really young. Like my son was a couple months old probably, and, and, and his daughter was like a year we did a parody of MTV's Pimp My Ride, Pimp mm-hmm. My Stroller, basically. Just uh-huh. like completely <laughs> tricked out this stroller. And somebody took that and uploaded it to YouTube and it got like a thousand views in a week or something. And you guys were like, whoa. We were like, whoa, this is crazy. That's way, way bigger <laughs> than any place we've ever really? played. Um, and so we started doing it intentionally in 06. And then in 07, we started it as a business. Wow. And then is that when you realize, is that when you stop working yeah. engineering jobs? Yeah. So, so 07, you're ready to, to like make the leap. Yeah. We, yeah. I can't remember the first, what the first paying gig was, but we essentially started making, we, we would, this is before you could make money off of YouTube with ads. Cause it, when it started, there were no ads. Mm-hmm. Um, and before Google bought it and everything. So what we would do is we would make, phone calls like we wrote a song about the game cornhole you're uh-huh. from the midwest you know right about i cornhole. know cornhole of course so we wrote like this sort of country song about cornhole mm-hmm. and uh we were like surely some cornhole company <laughs> out there would sponsor this thing so we like we would <laughs> call we would go on a website that sold cornhole equipment and like call the number and like one was like this mom who was like running the business out of her garage and she was like i just don't have any money <laughs> and then we like, but then we, took we were t- like, really? You sell <laughs> cornhole equipment on the internet? <laughs> but we found these other these other guys who were like three guys about our age who were starting this new business in like Ohio, and they were really excited about it. They loved the idea of like doing some kind of like viral marketing. Mm-hmm. And so like we, with the help of my dad, I like wrote up this contract. We had no idea. Like we were like, maybe we should just say we get paid. I think what we said was we're like we want two thousand dollars to make the video. And then if you could give us $20 for every thousand views after that. Yeah. For two years. And the thing ended up getting like two or three million views. Oh what? my God. <laughs> we had, you know, we had no idea what we were doing. You sued them, right? You just fucking took <laughs> yeah. them down. Wow. And Destroy their lives. Like you signed that fucking shit. Yeah. I mean, I think they, they, they paid us. They, they paid did. you for they that? Did. Yeah. Yeah. What? They did. Wow. But I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it, it also benefited them in a great oh, way. Oh yeah, they, they were made, like they super made some happy. good cornhole. Boards. I, we ended up doing it. We AJJ did, Cornhole. They're still paying us. We did a <laughs> which camera do I look at? <laughs> AJJCornhole.com. <laughs> I don't even know if that website exists. Forget anymore. my ignorant. I don't know what cornhole. I mean, I know what you, cornholing you, you've is. Seen, I don't you've know seen cornhole. it, right? You, you, but you've seen the game with the the big. It's like a tilted board. board, and you throw the bean bag onto oh, it. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. there's another name for it. Okay. I, I think right. it's the real OGs. I think beanbag toss. Beanbag is what, toss. Yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. not. A, it's got corn in the bag. Yeah, 
and that gives it that in the that right gotcha. whoosh, yes when it right. hits the board you gotcha. like it makes you want to take another swig of your beer because it is <laughs> what we believed at the time to be the next olympic sport <laughs> and the only one where you could drink beer because because we didn't know about the shimmy shimmy game what's that Oh shuffleboard? yeah, shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. No, the Olympic. No, the curling. 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 That's, yeah, that's yeah. I think you can drink a beer <laughs> while doing that too. Oh, for sure. Now, wait, when you make that cornhole video, yeah, and it, and it starts to take off, are you like, "Where this is it? That we did the right. Like, this is what we should be doing." Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like we this, started do we started doing that with other other products. We would just call and you just randomly just cold call people. Yeah. And yeah. and now you had some a reference to be like, check these out, right? Right. Like, right. Yeah. Uh, and then in 08, uh, this advertising, advertising agency called and they wanted to, it's Alka-Seltzer. They represented Alka-Seltzer and they wanted us to do like a bunch of food themed videos. And they had originally, they had talked to the Sklar brothers about doing this. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think they probably, they were probably smart enough to like charge Price real money for it. Uh -huh. Um, we were desperate and we were like. But it ended up, I mean, it was, a, it, I don't, again, I don't remember what the, the, the price was, but it was not a lot to make 21 videos over the course of the summer. And they were going to like take us in this RV around the U.S. and we were going to like show up at a place and create something. Yeah. Um, and so. Yeah, I remember the first day of that. You guys undercut shoot. the Sklars. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> well, we met them after that, and uh, they didn't seem to care. So they didn't get that <laughs> job. They were cool with it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I remember the first day when we showed up on location, and they're like, all right, here's your RV. And I'm like, damn, they got a nice RV. Right. And it's like the whole team is lined up out there, and there's like Canadian riders that they flew in. And it was probably eight or nine people lined up, and they're like, all right, here's the RV. And we're like okay, let's go. And we start getting on the RV and we turn around and they're like standing there. And we're like, okay, we're ready. And they're like, yeah, go. And they had just given us the RV and then they all got in like a 16 passenger van and <laughs> followed us around the country. Really? And we yeah, felt horrible. We felt really guilty. Like we had, I mean, now I'd be like, yeah, you can't get in my <laughs> RV. <laughs> but then I was like naive and you know, they, all the money that they didn't spend on us, they spent on like our on RV, RV, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. And Coors Light. They kept giving us Coors Light. Of, you can't of drink Coors, Coors Light. I can't Light. drink Coors Light to this day because it just... When you're in the back of an RV. RV. Oh, uh, yeah. No good. Nasty. Like they yeah, would open like the this. door to the RV and we wouldn't know where we were. I mean, we didn't drink that much Coors Light, but I mean, you'd get disoriented. It's kind of yeah. like, probably like just, you know, traveling, you know, doing your gigs or whatever. At some point you're like, I don't exactly know where I'm at. Yeah. So we, the they'd open the door and be like, well, uh, we're in Maine. You got six hours, make a video. God. Damn. And then they would shut the door and we, they'd open it again. This is what it feels like now in retrospect. It was like, we were in somewhere in the Midwest and it was like, you're at a board game convention. We got you it passes. Like, it, Go in there and make a video. Well, it was like a, it was like, it was like a, a role playing Role-playing game role convention. Playing. So would you guys just brainstorm the whole way to the next yeah. place and try yeah. to, yeah. Try and, to and come up with something? We would like we would work something out. Like for that, it was we're gonna go and they've given us like a space on the floor and we're gonna say that we've got a new role-playing game and that we need a test audience. Mm -hmm. And so it was called Intergalactic Food Smugglers. Yeah, because it had to be about food because of Alka Seltzer. Oh, right. Yes. Oh. Makes sense. At a certain point, you got to start popping those Alka Seltzer. Now, was that because <laughs> since then, haven't you done a lot of food? You know, like, yeah. Yeah, was that yeah. the genesis? No, it, it wasn't because that was 08, and then we didn't start GMM, Good Mythical Morning, until 2012, and we didn't start eating stuff on GMM until a couple of years like into a, it. Two, yeah. Hello, and thank you for watching that highlight. Uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these. And subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.